Okay, I'm freaking out. I just got rid of, oh man, what a day. Look, I had, I supposed to see Loretta today. I just got off the phone with Loretta. I went down, went down to Somerset. Well, it was, Somerset, it was like rainy, kind of, kind of rainy, kind of misty, whatever have you. And I was, oh, I was already down there. And I called her, I, I still call anyway, I call her, and, and you know, she's, you know, nah, 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 nah. I know she had to be just doing the, but anyway, the point is, I actually got back on the bus and came back, right, because she has a house right there, uh, in, in the house. Yeah, I, look, Loretta's 85 years old, I don't want to put nobody in danger, you know what I mean, and the other woman had some other health issues, you know, so anyway, the, the spirit told me, just go back, so I came back to Came back to New York. I don't worry. I used, to, I, used to, I used to go to school down there. You know, it's like an hour, hour, fifteen minute ride, whatever it is. I do that all the time. It's no biggie. Now, in fact, I enjoy the, the little ride. You know, suburban transit. You know. Um, anyway, so I started. Having, so I got my little bus trip in, I guess, whatever it is, because you know I'm a train man. But I do I, any any convenience is fine with me. I, I, I was in Oscar Oxcott one time in Dublin, work. So now I'm sort of like uh, I gotta. I'm breaking down. I'm, oh. Oh, let me not leave my nephew. Breaking down my stuff here, you know. Here, the tyke. Hey, train him young. In fact, the first talk about Loretta. The first thing I read to him was Henry Dumont. That's right. Y'all need to get y'all some Henry Dumont. I'm trying to, oh man, I can't tell you all this because then I'll jinx it. But I gotta, let me make sure I take this back with me. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the Prince thing. The, the D, okay, I'll leave that. So maybe I'll. Take that down there. Leave that there. Uh, there. Let me let's say, let me put some glasses on there. Hold on a second. Get my uh, I don't want y'all to do my I call this my my driving glasses and my uh, movie glasses, you know. Oh here, let me take this off. There you go. See? Don't I look like an intellectual? Come on now. Got from South Africa. And uh, let me see. Uh, 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 uh. A little bit of water. I got this beer the other day. I had, I had a four pack of water. So I've been drinking this. I know, I know. I said I wasn't going. <laughs> I said I wasn't drinking it until New Year's. But it looks like New Year's might be a bust. So I'm like, okay, that's not an excuse. Hey, you know how people take make excuses for anything. But the, the, I saw this. I saw this on the shelf, man. It was a shame because it says, it says chocolate. If you say chocolate to me, it's like, uh, you know. So, so anyway, so I'm gonna do this now because I actually last time I had some I had some um, Monday night. With, with tonight's Wednesday. Tonight's Wednesday, so I have to listen to. I'll be listening to you know to Yvette tonight. But I, I I drank it on Monday night, and then what happened was, you know, I'm into the nap ministry, right? So I just thought I'd take a little nap. Well, that didn't go well because <laughs> I fell asleep on Yvette. And it's hard to sleep on Yvette because you know how she be talking, <laughs> you know. So. Anyway, so anyways, oh, let me tell you what happened. So I came back, I did laundry and stuff like that, could, 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 could thing like that. And then um, I said, oh, let me take, let me take my bag. Let me, cause you know, the, you see, I used to, I used to get off Newport News. So I take the bag, put it on the train, right? The day before, then, you know, when I get off the train, I have it, right? I was going to Norfolk to say, now, then they said, we don't take the bags to Norfolk. I put the bag all the way down there. They said, I'll take the Norfolk. What's going on there? And so what happened was, um. I realized, uh, then, I, then I said in my brain, I didn't, I didn't ask him this because I don't, you know, I don't mess with them, whatever, because everybody's masked up, whatever. But I figured they take the baggage, they take the baggage car off in North, in, um, in Newport News, and then they, the rest of the train goes to Norfolk. So when I'm going to Norfolk now, I got to take the bag myself. That's what it is. But what I did do, oh, wait a second. I'll be right back. I got to get, I left it out there. Hold on. Don't go anyplace. I know, I, I wish I could, uh, where's my, I could, should I put my nasty bag up? Look, hey, look. But just talk to no. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put them on. Oh. I'm right here. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, you hear some history stuff. That's because you know my brother, buddy. He. He's, you know, he's a history, history professor, you know, uh, African history, uh, Egyptian history, but he's, you know, he, he, he watches his history stuff all the time, you know. I think they're doing whatever. But then here's what happened. So uh, I got, so when I when I came back up because I dejected from not having the bag being, being taken by Amtrak, um, I said, well, you know, since I put, I had swiped the card, you know, the, the train pass, because, you know, you get, a, you get a transfer, free transfer. I said, wait a second. 
Okay, so that's them. So now I'm coming back up. I swipe the card and I said, hey, let me stay on because it, it was on the A train. Let me stay and get, go to 125th Street, get off and catch the C train because see the trick is, don't worry, I'm going to this New York trip. So, so, so I said, I'll go up to 157th Street and go to Sister's Bookstore and get the, and get the book, you know, the, the half that's not been told, whatever, whatever, we, whatever Ados is reading for the, for the book club. Okay? That's the idea, right? Got there. And of course, not, not of course, but you know, they didn't have the book. So I just jumped on the bus, came back. But then I said, hey, I'm on the, the 100, goes across 120th Street. I got to get off Fifth Avenue. I, I got to get off at uh, Madison Avenue. But let me get off a little bit earlier, you know what I mean? I get off at, at what, what was it, six, seven, whatever, whatever. I get off early and I go to Watkins and I get, here we go. This is the big thing. This is why I had to go through the whole day like this. My Moringa Bitters. Oh boy, the big one. This will last the whole month. This will last the whole time I'm in, um, I'm in Virginia. And then when I'm leaving Virginia for um, uh, St. Louis again, I have to find, I have to find, you know, find Moringa Bitters. But now I'm a happy pappy. <laughs> so there it is. I thought I'd give you a little update of what's going on, you know, because uh, and one thing I was telling, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I gotta do this as a um, what do you call it? I'm 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 doing the Instagram now, you know. So I do the morning morning Instagram. So I gotta do some morning Instagram. Let me give you a preview because actually the people that that watch the YouTube don't really do the Instagram. The Instagram people don't do the YouTube. Here's the thing. Everybody's all hopped up on this. On this, but no, I do the the Instagram. I do something else tomorrow. But this is part of it, you know. People don't understand. I told you before. These are corporatists, right? It doesn't matter who's there. The, the I was listening to um to uh the my, the Orange Pill Microdose to um uh to to you know that's that's Max Kaiser and Stacey Herbert. Uh, by the way, I know I jump around. Just this later. Look, here's the way you do this, right? First of all, stop being wedded to these you know. Foxes or the MSNBCs, whatever you're waiting to stop, you can do them just a little micro dose them, <laughs> just a little bit, right? You should treat this whole thing like I say, treat the internet like a like a radio dial. You know, you know, you don't have to stay on one station, right? But more importantly, let me do let me do a literary thing, right? Think of it like short stories, right? One short story, another short story, you can do it the same author, but then you get another book of short story, but it's totally different author. So you should be looking at different sources, right? Just like Buddy, he's he's watching some history channel thing. I don't know, whatever, some history about it. No, he's a scholar. He'd be reading the books, but he'd look at the, he'd look at the thing. You could just all around, right? But one of the things that was said, right, is basically this. What people don't understand, what Donald Trump did that upset everybody. When I say everybody, I know he, I, Trump is Trump, I understand that. But what upset the powers that be, the reason why they needed a Biden or somebody back in is not, they're not Bernie. Oh, they were totally against Bernie. They, it, it, they hated Bernie more than they hated than, than, than Trump, right? It's because what Trump did is remember when you get, when you get, um, who's this, the Biden, the Bitterman, Bitterman and, 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 and Kamala, and of course, because they'll get rid of Bitterman and, and Kamala will carry on, right? Think of it like this. Remember when uh, Bush, uh, the, the, the W came in. He had the whole cabinet of senior, right? It, it, basically, they had the Reagan, Nixon, then the senior, the, the whole cabinet. They, they came, that's where he had the Dick Cheney thing and the, uh, and the Rumsfeld, all the people like that, the, the Wolfowitz, whatever those people like that. And so, so then he came in, and then of course um, Obama. Is it, was it Obama that dethroned him? Yeah, Obama dethroned him, right? But what happened immediately? Now here's the people that say, look, 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 follow me on this. Follow me on this. When Obama came in that night inauguration, and you hear that story about the um, what's it, the the turtle guy, um, um, the, the, you know, the the, 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 the head of the, Mitch McConnell, Mitch McConnell had a meeting as as they was balling, you know, you know, doing the inaugural ball. He said, Obama, he will never, we're gonna make it so he doesn't have a second term. That was his vow, the Republican vow. But at the same time that was happening, the the corporatists, not the corporate, the Wall Street people. We're, we're, we're sending out an email, we're devising Obama's cabinet. You, you, you get what I'm saying? So you hear, so you hear about the, uh, the, 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 whatever, the, you know, the, the, the Republicans saying whatever, but you don't hear that the, that, that the, the, the powers that be, the, the Clintonians, right? Because <laughs> all that whole, there's a whole Wall Street, Clint, Clintonian, forget the Wall Street, Clintonians, right? devise his cabinet. So all that stuff he said he was going to do, he 
completely abandoned that and went with the Clintonian model, right? Then the Clintonian model becomes the Obama model, right? So now they have a problem, right? Because they didn't, they, because because then, of course, you know, the, the, uh, that the woman, the, the Hillary woman, right? She was supposed to, you know, continue, continue on, that the, the spanner was throwing the works there, right? Okay, so here's what happens. This is so masterful. So, so the drunk man comes in. Now, love him or hate him, but he do a span of works that they did. Nobody saw that coming. Ain't nobody do that. But they say the clown, he never, clown, never a clown. But he came and he clowned them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if you really look at, can I say this? If you really look at, I mean, really examine very carefully what 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 what, what the drunk man did the first when he was um, um, campaigning. He did not say anything against black people. I mean, really, I'm serious. During the campaign, he said nothing against black people. He went after Mexican women. Really, he stayed away from that. Now, when he got in, we're going to get to that point. Let me, let me get to what I'm trying to say. Okay. So, now what happens is, so when Trump comes in, he says, you lobbyists, I, I don't know you guys. You know, you regular lobbyists. So, Republican lobbyists couldn't really lobby him. They had to fall in line because he was, just, he was beating up all, all of them, right? The, the the Democrat lobbyists, they say, hey, we got a shot. If we if we can get Bernie out the way, then we can get back in there. Because if you notice all the people that come in now, in fact, it's, 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 it's more than masterful. Now, now, they solidified, the corporates have solidified the Republicans and the Democrats and the Clinton. I would say Republicans. I would say, I don't, I, I want to say Nixonians, you know what I mean? Let me say Nixonians because I don't like the, the, the Bushes don't sound right. They solidify the Nixonians and the Clintonians into the Biden, into Biden, right? And he's going to be away, so it'll be it'll be the 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 Kamala Kama, Kama, Kamalas. There's a new there's a new there's a new whatever the, the Kamalas, right? And so what's going to happen basically? I mean, you know, is you going to have the worst of instead of having the when you say you don't want the the you want to vote the lesser two, you're going to have the worst. The worst of the worst come together because people just don't know. They're not studying. This is hilarious to me because all Trump did was say, I'm, you know, and so because this is what I learned from listening to Max uh, today, Max and Stacey today, what, what really happened, what was somebody else, uh, what really happened was since Trump, like Bernie, wasn't taking, you know, said, I don't, don't, don't speak to no lobbyists, I don't want to hear from them. But that money had to go someplace. So those people started to try to influence basically Trump's circle. You know, see what I'm saying? That's why his, his, that's why people say, oh, he, he made his family rich. Well, that's because they were people were approaching his family. That's what it was, right? So the don the donors, whatever you call them, the 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 the, the money behind or whatever, it's it, you know, the, the regular people, the K Street people, you know, the, the regular lobbyists, they couldn't do nothing, right? So they they, they, they had so all the stuff happened like that, 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 that. So now now we're gonna go back. You want back to normal? Okay, now you you gonna get back to normal plus, right? Because Trump will be gone. His his family is set. You know, whatever. He did it a different way. Come on, come on. You, what did Obama do? Right. He promised him all that stuff. What was the first thing he did when he got out of office? He he gave a speech to the bankers. They gave him his money. You know what I mean? And and more. You know what I mean? And plus, they gave him a better deal. Here's what you all don't know. Here's what I really I gotta talk about this tomorrow too. You know what I mean? When he told LeBron to sit down, you know, sit down. No, no. He told him to stand up. LeBron was trying to sit down. He said to stand up. Right. I said this before, but say this again so somebody gets this, right? Obama is a new face of the basketball league in Africa. There's a there's an NBA sponsored basketball league in Africa. It's comp it's not even complex, it's simple. You know, in, in all the countries they shoot, they have some sort of interest. They have some military presence or some oil presence, or whatever have you in Africa. So he's the face of that. So he's being paid off big time. Big, big, big time, you know? So so the system has gotta fail. I mean fall. I was, I'm going to say one more thing. Okay, I, I swear I'll stop talking. I was talking, I was online with, on, uh, on Instagram with this comedian, right? And I was telling him how I vote, you know, because it's, it's game. It's, 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 I, I, it's fun and games to be, you know what I mean? What I'll do is, you know, I'm not going to vote for that. I'll just vote. Yeah, you can't take president. He's going, you can't take the process anyway, you blah, 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 blah. But you don't understand. Look, it's a game, right? I can play the game my way. I like to vote, personally. It's just that I'm not going to vote the way you think I'm going to vote, right? So... I guarantee what's going to happen. I'll find a, I'll find a writing line. I'll write in, you know, I'll write in uh, uh, producejustice.com and I'll write in adus101.com in certain spots. Other spots I'll pick who the sheriff is, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I have to do the adus101.com and the produce justice because I want that. See, for me, voting is a polling. It's a it's the real poll. Forget voting. It's not voting. 
because your vote don't count. If you're in an all blue state, well, you, how are you going to get rid? How are you going to get? How are you going to not? How are Biden not going to rid that state? If you're in an all red state, how is Trump not going to win that state? So you're wasting. You're actually you're actually wasting your vote. Them. You don't want to give them the vote. Them because you don't want to give them the popular mandate to they, they say I have a mandate to do what I'm going to do. And so I'm going to be more authoritarian than ever. I'm going to be more union of socialist social whatever USSR than the USSR was. I'm going to be more fascist, more Mussolini fascist. In fact, you know, hey. You 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 thought you had Calvin Coolidge, you know, not Calvin Coolidge, Woodrow, Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson, Woodrow Wilson, was it Calvin Coolidge? Woodrow was one of those guys that said the business of America is business. Well, you know, I'm really we we're a corporate, we're taking over, right? So the only thing you can really do, and what I want to do, the reason why I want reparations, I want to destroy the system. <laughs> That's my whole thing for vote, even voting. I take every opportunity to jank the system. I want to destroy it. I'm not one of those people who want to reform the Democrat Party or, you know, the hope for I, from some, I don't know, uh, Jesus to return. Nothing like that. I would say, let, I'm taking some active thing to destroy the system. That's my whole thing. <sighs> okay, look, I'm excited. Let me, let me, uh, let's see, because I even, I even have my, was on a train. I get like, see this? This is my, Hard boiled eggs on the train because I'll, I'll take some stuff and make my on the train. I don't buy no train food, right? I even got my I got my I got my little nut mix ready. It's actually little now. It's going down. I'm not gonna buy no more though because I'm gonna catch some other stuff. Because you know on the train, I, you know I love train travel because I can make my own food and stuff like that. I'm not gonna. I'm, uh, okay, I'm telling you, I'm not gonna drink. But you know. I'm the I'm the master I'm the what well, the captain of my soul the master master of my soul the captain of my fate whatever that poem is Invictus <laughs> read the poem <laughs> that's a, just a suggestion for me T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet having a ball <laughs> at the expense of I don't know people who take this stuff seriously I guess you know check y'all later. <laughs>